this is Samantha, and I wanted to tell you that I really loved um, your um, vegetarian stew with the tofu um, and also the the Lakshan Kudgo, and I was wondering if you had any more veg- more vegetarian recipes. Um, I'm calling from Los Angeles, California. Um, bye-bye. When I need some good kosher food, there's only three words I need to know. Feed me lovey. and the caterer served sweet potato. Uh, it tasted good. It had a topping on it, which was unusual. And so I came home and I said, hmm, you can make a baked potato with topping. Well, a sweet potato with topping and use what we generally use for Rosh Hashanah, honey and apple, and also for the fall season, dried fruits. And so after a few practices and Ever, trials and errors, I think I came up with a good recipe for a sweet stuffed baked potato. And let's begin. When I went shopping for sweet potatoes or yams, I tried to buy a medium size or a large potato because actually you're going to have half a potato per serving. I, I bought four, about four large potatoes or five medium-sized potatoes, about a pound and a half, and that should serve six to eight, depending, of course, on the size. And what I did today is because they have to bake for an hour and cool off so that I can work with it, I uh, pre-baked a potato so that I could show you how I do it. My t- potato is ready to be uh, um, taken care of and uh, add the ingredients to it. Mm. My potato is nice and soft, and now I'm ready to cut it and take out the ingredients. Take your time. Cut it in half. Leave about a quarter of an inch around the edge of the inside of the potato. Take all the soft parts, place it in a bowl. Do the same with the other potato. And now I'm ready to mix the ingredients and mash the potato. I mashed my sweet potatoes, and now I'm going to add the ingredients with the potatoes. And I use part of the margarine because I want to serve it with meat. But if you prefer to use butter, that, that's the individual, if you're making dairy or whatever. And then the honey. Oh, about a quarter of a cup of honey. And then about a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and about an eighth teaspoon of nutmeg. Blend it all together with a fork. Mash it up good. Oh, one thing let me tell you. I made this according to my taste buds. Um, and you have to taste it. After it's mixed, taste it and see. You might like extra spice or, or extra honey before you stuff the uh, sweet potatoes. My topping consists of two tablespoons of chopped walnuts, three tablespoons of dried cranberries or raisins, whichever you prefer. And then I like to use on top of them the um, sliced ma- canned sliced mandarin oranges, or about a third of a cup. And an apple cut up and diced into small pieces. And then they're all mixed together and placed over the top for the topping, over the sweet potatoes. 
Oh, I want to show you the way I cut my apple. I found it's an easy way to do. First, I cut out the core from the top and the bottom. The top and then the bottom. And then with the knife, peel it. And I'll explain to you why I take the top and the bottom core off first, which helps a lot. And when you have to slice it and cut it in cube dicing. Now that I've peeled the apple, I'm ready to core it. And so I've cut it in fours. And the easy part of it is that I don't have the ends to contend with. So I can just cut across and it makes it very simple to do. Once I've taken the core out, I'm ready to dice the apple. And I like to slice it again, then just hold it together in small pieces, just like that. Very simple. It makes it a lot easier to do. And they get kind of uniform slices. And that's it. I'm going to add my diced apples to the bowl. My topping consists of three tablespoons of dried cranberries or raisins, whichever you prefer, two tablespoons of chopped walnuts, the um, sliced canned sliced mandarin oranges, or about a third of a cup. I've mixed my topping together, and then I just place it very gently on top. Oh. This is the way I do it. I, I like to prepare things ahead of time. So I have the potatoes already stuffed, place them in the refrigerator, and one or two days later when I'm ready to serve, I make my topping and place it in a 350 oven for about 15, 15 minutes so that it'll warm through. This way, you've got all your work done, and then the topping is so it's like twice baked regular potatoes, but it tastes delicious. It has sweet and honey. It's perfect for, for Yonta, for the Russian shot, for the holidays. And it's a little change from the Zinnis. I hope you enjoy. And use your own taste buds to make it to the little bit sweet and spicy flavor you like. And now it's time for the Yiddish word of the day. Bubby, what's today's Yiddish word? The Yiddish word for today is schnell. 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 And it means quick. And you know, with today's lifestyle and everything, everybody is quick. So, schnell. So it's quick. kind of like how everything's going by very quickly. In a sense, yeah. Everything is quick. You know, no one has the patience. And everything you have to do is one, two, three, quick. Do you know what? That reminds me. Last time you were talking about the Bubby 911 emergencies that you tend to have, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, okay. I have something very interesting to let you, you know. What, what, what did you do now? Well, we now have a Bubby 911 t-shirt. Oh my, Avram, you're unpredictable. You know, that's a good idea because if they buy our t-shirt, it'll be a constant reminder. Call any time, I'm always available. So we have the feedmebubby.com website right on there so you know exactly where to go when you have a Bubby emergency, a Bubby 911. In addition, you know that a dollar is being donated towards Mazan to help out with welcome. And it's an attractive t-shirt too. I like it. Well, there you go. It's really up to date. We'll be right back. Oh, I have to tell you about a first experience, a really a first. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but it's perfect before the holidays, and I have to tell it again. It, it's something, like I say, I, I'll never forget it. It, it was such a such an experience. You know, before the holidays, I went shopping with my daughter, and it was busy in this uh, market, the supermarket, and a woman, a woman came over to me, and she said, open up your hand. And I looked at her. She said to me, open up your hand. So I thought, well, she looked all right. I opened up my hand, and she put something in my hand. She folded my fingers over, over my hand, and let, walked away. My daughter and I were both stunned. I opened up my hand and tightly folded, it was a $5 bill. So I immediately took 
the wagon lifts and right, trying to rush through the aisles. Can you picture a busy market and trying to go through the aisles? I, I want to get her, find out what is this all about? Well, you know, she disappeared so fast. If it wasn't for five dollars in my hand, I thought I would think I was dreaming. I, my daughter and I we were stunned. Anyway, it was quite an experience, and I, if she ever watches my videos, I want her to know that we, I took the five dollars and made a contribution to Maison, which is, helps world hunger all over the world. And also, I want to wish everyone a healthy and happy New Year. A good year. And this is the way it looks, my sweet potatoes with toppings. And it's excellent for the holidays and then Thanksgiving or whatever you want a little bit festive and sweet potatoes. Eskison today. Enjoy. from Morton Grove, Illinois. I absolutely adore your website. Just keep up the good work. Thank you. This podcast is part of the Blueberry Network, where listeners and podcasters come together. Blueberry.com See you next time.